In this video, I will show you how to connect your Google Ads to Salesforce and Google Sheets automatically. So the idea here is I'm running ads on Google for which I have created a Google lead form and whenever a new lead will generated via that form, I will show you how to automatically add the lead along with all details to your spreadsheet and how the same lead can be created as a contact instantly in Salesforce CRM software. Want to learn how you can also automate this lead generation and lead management? management process come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my google ads account where i'm adding my google lead form to my campaign and in front of you i'm going to generate a test lead via this form and then i will show you how to add the very same lead automatically to the spreadsheet and how to also create a contact in salesforce crm using the same information but to automate this whole process firstly i will have to connect i will have to integrate this google lead form google sheets and salesforce application which i will do with the help of pabli connect which is an amazing integration and automation software i'm an existing user of pabli connect so i'm already logged in here you can create your free account in pabli connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation okay now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of pabli connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as connect your google ads to salesforce and google sheets now i will select the folder in which i want to create my automation workflow so i'm selecting this main workflows folder now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that whenever a new lead is generated via google lead form then automatically collect the same lead in google sheets application so that is why i'll be selecting the same application here as an action application and further i want that the same person should be created as a contact in salesforce crm application so that is why i'll click on this plus icon and we'll add one more action step and we'll add the same application that is salesforce but it is not come compulsory that you send the data only to the salesforce if you want you can also search you can also select active campaign or zoho crm or any other crm software but according to my use case i'll go with the same that is salesforce okay so in this way you can add as many as action steps as you want and automate your lead generation process automate your lead management process okay so the idea here is now i am going to connect these three applications one by one with the public connect so let us first connect to google lead form with public connect and capture the lead data here for that firstly i will select the trigger even that is new lead and as soon as i do that you will notice a webhook url will be provided with a set of instructions okay so with the help of this url only we are going to build this connection okay and i am telling you you will have to follow these instructions carefully okay so let me first copy this webhook url going back to my Google Ads account where I was creating my Google lead form all right and because I'm not running any live Google Ads so I will generate a dummy lead only via this form okay so this is my form travel inquiry form this is my business name abc tour and travels fill the below form and someone from our team will call you and will listen all your requirements and here I am collecting the following information from my leads like the first name last name email phone number and the city basically what is this uh, destination city okay from where they can actually select the city how about i remove this city column from here the city field from here okay and now here you can notice i have provided all the details you will have to scroll down and will have to search for this lead delivery option okay so read the instructions that you can only download leads that have been collected within the last 30 days so basically we are not going to download the leads we are creating an 
automation in this Google lead form and in this Google Sheets in such a way that every lead data will be added to my spreadsheet will be collected to my spreadsheet in real time so that I do not have to manually export the lead information again and again okay so for that I will be using this webhook integration okay so this is the field where I'm going to paste the same URL which we have got via Pabli connect and now it is asking for the key okay so you can also read the instruction the webhook key uh, is a code sent with your data which verifies that it came from okay so I will add a dummy data only let's say I add this 1 2 3 4 value now as soon as I click on the send test data button you will notice the test lead data will be received here as a webhook response for which it is already waiting here you can notice waiting for the webhook response okay so how about I click on this button and here you can notice it is saying the test data send successfully okay show test data well yes you can actually see that what test data has been sent to your webhook URL okay so basically as the first name the value has been sent as first name only in place of last name the value has been sent as last name and we have the phone number a testing phone number we also have a testing email address and the city as Sikkim okay so this is the data let me come back to the dashboard of Pabli connect and here you can notice the same response is received let me even show you the details one by one okay so what is your destination city the response has been captured as a Sikkim okay here we have the user email as test at the rate example.com the phone number as this and we also have the last name and the first name and all other details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our Google lead form and Pabli connect is working absolutely fine and don't worry about that because it is a dummy data you can work in the real data you will be able to find your real leads here as a response again telling you because I'm not running any live advertisement so that is why I'm taking the example of testing data only okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done which was connecting Google lead form and Pabli connect and capturing the lead data here now once we have the lead data inside the dashboard of Pabli connect now we can easily send that data to Google Sheets using Pabli connect software only basically within so the software only okay so the application is already selected now I will select the action event that is add a new row because I want that every time a new row should be added and in that new row the data the lead information should be added okay so clicking on this connect button clicking on this add a new connection and if you are connecting your spreadsheet with the Pabli connect for the first time go with the new connection only click on this button and provide the access of your Google Sheets account okay but I have provided this access multiple times okay so I will reuse my existing connection clicking on save and in this way my Google Sheets account will be immediately connected with Pabli connect and if you want you can also go with the existing connection but just make sure that you provide the access at least in the first time and here you can notice because we are connected whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my Google account have started with visible here all the spreadsheets okay so I'll be selecting this specific spreadsheet that is leads via Google lead form in which I want to add my data add my leads okay so I have selected the same and because there is a single sheet only so it has got selected here automatically and as soon as you will select the spreadsheet and sheet here whatever the columns you have added inside your spreadsheet the same column names will be fetched up here as the field you can notice this first name last name email phone and city of travel here also you can find the same column name that is first name last name email phone city of travel okay so now from where I'm going to provide the details in these fields remember I have already captured the lead data as a response of my trigger step as a response of my Google lead form step and the interesting thing here is I'm not going to manually copy these details and paste below again and again okay I am going to map these details okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down simply search for your value okay so here I would like to map the first name so here we have the value as first name all right so I have mapped it in 
your case you will have to map the real value the real first name of your lead okay and in the same way i'm going to map the data in other fields also but you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i will map here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time or in next time okay i'm repeating this thing once again that these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time or in next time okay but if i will provide any detail manually here let's say i provide the city here something some random city okay so that detail will remain same for every new lead entry okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually okay and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay so i have mapped the data in all the fields how about i click on this button and you will notice firstly a response will be received here and if that response is positive that means our automation is working absolutely fine and here also you can notice the same test entry the test lead details have been added here automatically let me first correct the formatting so that you can see the data very clearly so here we have the very same first name last name email the phone number and city of travel okay so that means the connection in google sheets and pabli connect is working absolutely fine and in this way the second step of our automation is also done now i am going to show you how to add the very same lead basically your google ads lead to salesforce okay so the application is already selected now i'll be selecting the action even that is create a contact okay so how about i directly search for the same which was which is create contact clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection and then clicking on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your salesforce account if you are not logged in in your salesforce account but because i'm already logged in so instead of asking me for the access it is asking me for the permission which i have provided and here you can notice the authorization is successful and my salesforce account is also connected with the pabli connect and because we are connected here you can notice it is asking several details which are actually required for creating a contact in any crm but don't worry i am not going to provide the details in all the fields i will provide the data only into the required or into the important fields because i have collected the basic information only from my google lead form okay so let's say it is asking for the last name so again i am going to map the same data searching for the same that is last name all right so i have mapped it okay so in the same way i'm going to map the data in other fields also okay and after that i will click on that button directly okay so asking for lot of details how about i directly provide the phone number and the email address okay so here i have mapped the phone number also lastly i am going to provide the email address so i think i have provided the basic contact information so how about i click on this button but before that here you can notice no recent records are available inside the salesforce dashboard and now in front of you clicking on this button fingers crossed waiting for the response if that response is positive that means once again our automation is working absolutely fine and when i have refreshed my dashboard here you can notice in the salesforce the same person has been created as a contact automatically you can find other information also like the phone number and the email address okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between pabli connect and salesforce is also working absolutely fine or you can say our whole automation is also working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new lead is generated via our google lead form the data will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time and once we have this data inside the dashboard of pabli connect the same data will be sent to google sheets and salesforce automatically yes you do not have to do anything manually if you have created this automation workflow inside pabli connect once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this three step workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box okay so simply click on this link and sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free 
not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video